Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I wanna give you some curly hair advice for when you're going on your holidays. I've just gotten back from my holidays and I really picked up a lot of tips because I just really noticed the things that I was struggling with, the things that were helping when it came to hair care and just styling my hair and stuff. And I really feel like I have a lot that I can share with you guys that I really think is gonna help. So these tips are definitely gonna be catered more towards summer holiday vibes. So it's really gonna be focused on protecting your hair from the heat, from the see and everything like that and also I have a lot of tips for these short trips especially if you're only going away for a few days or even five days and you only have that cabin bag limit with the liquids limit gosh that liquid limit really messes with us curly girls because it really restricts what products we can bring but don't worry I have tips for all of that I think it's gonna be really really helpful I have my list summer holiday curly hair tip number one is to bring a satin bonnet or a satin scarf on the plane with you to protect your hair on the airplane. So this is definitely gonna be more of an issue on those long haul flights where that air conditioning, that dry air really gets to your hair and your skin and your throat actually as well. That can really dry out your hair and also just sitting there on the headrest, if you've got a pillow or something, you just don't wanna be messing up your hair before you've even reached your destination. You wanna take care of your hair on the flight. So yes, please do bring a satin bonnet or a satin scarf to protect your hair. So I had my satin bonnet and my scarf. These are both from my brand, Hedgy, and I had these with me on the flight. Honestly, it is easier to kind of pull off a scarf when you're on the plane because you can kind of do it in a way that's a bit more conspicuous and maybe it looks a little bit more like a hairstyle or something rather than being like, hey, I've got my bonnet on. I don't know, if you're like super confident, then that's amazing, but I'm really not that confident. I'm actually a very shy person and I don't like it when people look at me in public. So I was not wearing my bonnet on the plane. Maybe if I was with my sister or something and we were both doing it, it would be okay. So when I have my scarf on the plane, I'm really probably just gonna like drape it over my hair and either go like this or I'm gonna tuck it underneath. I kind of just tuck my hair into that. So that's gonna protect my hair against frizziness from the armrest and it's gonna protect my hair from that cold, harsh air that's circulating around the plane. My bonnets and scarves from my brand are linked in the description box down below. Okay, so holiday hair care tip number two is you're gonna wanna bring a satin pillowcase to the hotel with you. I've been to a lot of different types of hotels. I've been to a lot of different countries. I have never stayed at a hotel where they've provided satin or silk pillowcases, I think. So it's always a good idea to bring one. I would actually recommend getting one in a bright color or a different pattern, or you can use your hair scarf and you can kind of just wrap this around a pillow. I just kind of tied it around like that. And then because it was this big bowl pattern, it made sure that the cleaners didn't get it muddled up with the hotel bedding. I took a trip once where I had a satin pillowcase that was just white like this and it matched the hotel bedding and I think they accidentally took it away and washed it and lost it. So on my most recent trip I didn't have a bonnet, I didn't have a pillowcase, I only had the scarf. So kind of going back to the last tip where I said bring a bonnet or a scarf or both, then a pillowcase in this tip. If you really want to save space, I would recommend just bringing the scarf, forget the pillowcase, forget the bonnet. So the scarf really does cover all bases. If you're really tight for space, bring a scarf. Okay, so my third tip is to bring some coconut oil. Coconut oil is gonna help protect your hair from the sun and the sea. So there have been studies that have shown that coconut oil can protect your hair from up to 20% of the sun's rays. So that's amazing, love that for us. But also when it comes to the sea, the sea is so drying on your hair, guys. I couldn't believe it. The first couple of days when I was there, like I just dunked right into the sea because I love the ocean so, so much. And I just feel like I belong there. I feel like the opposite of the Little Mermaid, like honestly, I want to be where the fishes are. I want to swim, want to see them flapping. <laughs> I just love the sea. So I was in it constantly and I wasn't doing these things at the start of the holiday. And I just noticed how dry my hair was getting in that salt water. It was a mess, honestly. So I don't want that for you. I want you to have luscious, soft hair. And I feel like the best way to protect it is to apply some coconut oil. So the way that coconut oil does that is because oil does not mix with water. The oil is going to form somewhat of a barrier and it's going to protect your hair from that harsh salty water you don't want all of that water infused with all of that salt to be clinging to your hair and really drying it out so the coconut oil is there as a barrier so it's going to be quite heavy on your hair and it's going to probably make it look like a little bit weighed down and stuff but it's going to be worth it when you get into the sea and you have this protective barrier formed by the coconut oil something a bit like this or maybe you want a smaller tub if you're in a really hot country like i was then hopefully it should be melted mine is actually a bit melty can you see that you see how it's kind of Mine's actually melting guys, it's heating up here in the UK. And obviously it smells amazing too, so how can you say no? <laughs> 
Tip number four is also about protecting your hair and keeping it hydrated and conditioned. So after a long day at the beach, it can be so, so tempting to just, you know, get out of the water. Maybe you rinse your hair a little bit. Maybe you do a little bit of a hair care routine. I don't know what you want to do, but I would implore you to think about deep conditioning your hair while you're away. Sometimes we don't think about it because we think, oh, we're only away for a week or we're only away for two weeks. I don't need to bring a deep conditioner, you know, but these are trying times. These are times when you're really putting your hair through a lot. So it makes sense to do the most with your hair care as well. Like I know we don't want to, we want to keep it easy, but look at this. So you can get like a cute little travel sized hair mask. This one is by OGX. It's their Damage Remedy Coconut Miracle Oil Hair Mask Extra Strength. So on those days when my hair has been dried out and I've been out all day, this is gonna be perfect. You don't always need to be bringing big tubs of product. These little travel sizes are gonna be great. And I really do encourage you to do a deep conditioning treatment while you're away because you're putting your hair through a lot. Tip number five then, in that same vein, it's to do with your curly hair routine while you're away, is to co-wash your hair. So I definitely found that in the space of like a week on my last trip, I washed my hair like three or four times. And that's really because I've been in the sea every day. I don't want to leave that salt water on my hair. It's been really hot. I just really want to feel fresh. So I was washing my hair a lot. And obviously I was not shampooing my hair every time, not using shampoo at all. So the reason why I want to avoid shampooing too much is because shampoo is inevitable going to strip my hair of natural oils and things. My hair is already struggling to cling onto those oils because I am in the sea, because of the sun. So my hair is already dried out and I don't want to dry out any further with a shampoo, not even a gentle shampoo. Like if I literally shampooed my hair yesterday, there is no way that I want to be putting shampoo on it again. It's just going to be too harsh and I really just want to do a co-wash. You know, I really did notice the difference in my hair. My hair was so thankful that I hadn't used a shampoo again and I really just noticed that my hair was like soft and happy so yeah definitely think about co-washing while you're away okay so tip number six is about shampoo actually so in the last tip I mentioned that I did shampoo a couple of those times while I was away and the others were co-washes so when I was shampooing it was really important to me to use something that's sustainable and that fit in my luggage and that didn't contribute to my liquid limit so I actually was using a shampoo bar from Garnier so these are great when you travel because they don't contribute to your liquid limit, they're sustainable, they don't contribute to any waste, they take up hardly any space in your bag, and they work. So number seven, think about buying your products at duty free. So this is definitely going to help if you are going on one of those shorter trips and you don't only have the cabin size bag or maybe you're flying with Ryanair or EasyJet and you have something even smaller than a cabin bag. Like, you know, you have like the Ryanair size and it's really just like an overnight bag. It's so, so tiny, you can't fit anything. It's just giving me stress just thinking about it. So you'll go through security first, they'll check your liquids if you have any, you know, you check your bag and everything. Then you get through to duty free and you can go to boots or you can go wherever you want to go and you can buy something i think you're allowed at least one duty free bag think of it as basically a second bag that you can bring on the plane with you it's genius so there you can buy your shampoos your conditioners your deep conditioner you buy your sunscreens there obviously you just want to buy like the travel sizes you don't want to be going and buying huge bottles because on the way back you're really going to struggle to bring them back with you so you just want to make sure it's something you can use up while you're away so when i went i did actually have a lot of my curly hair products with me already but i did need to buy a curling jelly i bought like the boots curling cream you know the one it was 1.99 and it was this big tub and it was perfect such a great solution for curly girls i am just so shocked that i hadn't been doing that before let me know in the comment section whether that you think that this is just like a really obvious thing to do or whether i've just given you a holy grail piece of information because I'm so happy to share that. <laughs> okay, so next tip then is also about your products. And this is really because the product selection at Duty Free is often quite limited. You've pretty much just got what Boots sells. And as we know, Boots doesn't sell a huge range of curly hair products. So if you have your faves that you definitely want to bring with you, maybe you love them so much that you've even gone and bought huge bottles of them. What you could just do is buy some small plastic bottles and put a small amount of your favorite products into the plastic bottles and bring that with you and 
you don't have to worry about buying fresh products that are duty free and everything you don't have to settle for something you wouldn't usually use and obviously when you get to your destination on the other side you don't know what the shops are going to be like you just might not have access to curly hair products once you get to your destination so yeah if you do have your favorite products that you want to bring on holiday with you put them into a smaller bottle and you can take those with you another great tip that i have used many times in the past okay so my next tip is to wear sunscreen on your scalp when i was away just now i noticed because i always have my hair in the middle and i noticed that i was getting very very red in this parting and i wasn't happy about it and i didn't do anything about it for a few days and i did start to notice that it was just maybe getting a bit tender there my hair felt very very dry towards the middle parting there and i think that what was happening is my skin was getting burned so my scalp here was getting burned it was going red it was getting very very dry and it wasn't able to produce those oils because you know it was burned and i've read a little bit about it on google some people say that it can cause hair loss some people say it doesn't but i think if my hair is going to be irritated if i'm maybe going to be scratching if it's flaking if it's dry it's inevitably going to cause some kind of damage to the hair in that area so i do just strongly recommend wearing sunscreen on your scalp we used to do this for my dog actually because you could see her skin underneath the fur on her snout where her fur got really thin and so we had to put sunscreen on her snout and you do it with horses you do it with any animal where you can see their skin really even if they have hair there obviously it makes sense to do it with people too right so definitely protect your hair and protect your scalp with some sunscreen it's going to make all the difference okay so the next tip kind of leads on from that it's about protecting your scalp so i would strongly recommend bringing a sun hat or reusing that scarf that you wore on the plane that you use in your hotel wear that in a stylized way to protect your scalp it's so so important to protect our heads our scalp from the sun especially if you're going to be out and about all day maybe you're going on a day trip maybe you're going on a tour maybe you're going to go and get cultured for the day and you're going to be underneath that hot sun all day a big hat is also going to protect your face and your shoulders Ooh. <gasps> i love it Okay, so I've been playing with hats and my hair's a little bit frizzy now, but let's move on, shall we? My next tip then is when you are packing your curly hair products and all of your liquids, remember to pack it in its own kind of waterproof bag in your luggage because those products can leak. I don't think I've ever traveled with products where at least something didn't leak. Like if it was my face cleanser or if it was my curl cream, something has always leaked at some point. So you don't want that to get all over your clothes. Just put it in a waterproof bag, like a little Ziploc bag, or it can be like a little um, makeup pouch or something like that. This is not really related to curly hair care, really just caring for your belongings and making sure they don't get leaked on. Okay, so my next tip is to bring a microfiber towel. You cannot trust hotels to have a microfiber towel and you know the difference it makes using a microfiber towel versus a traditional towel. If you use that traditional towel on your hair, your hair is gonna be frizzy, it's gonna be dry. We just don't need it. You need your microfiber towel, baby girl. Or even something like this. This is like more of a jersey material and this one is made for the beach. You see, that is a deck chair and this is giving beachy vibes. So this is by a brand called Dock and Bay and this is their quick dry hair wrap. So the great thing about this is that this material itself is really quick drying because you don't want to dry your hair with a towel and then have the towel be soaking wet for hours days you need that towel to dry out quickly like maybe you used this to dry your hair at the beach you can put it back in your beach bag and it's not going to make everything wet or maybe you've dried your hair at the hotel and you just want to pack everything up have this go back in your suitcase and you don't want it to still be wet it's going to dry really quickly so it's just really useful to have even if you don't have something like this just having a regular microfiber towel is going to be essential when you go away so don't forget to pack it okay next thing is also to do with drying your hair it is your hair dryer and and your diffuser so i have been away to so many places and i feel like now i regularly check to see what hair dryers they have and if they have diffusers and what i've noticed is that hotels are getting better at providing diffusers but still not all of them have them and even when they do have a diffuser they're usually not very good and the hair dryer itself is not very good quality so if you do have a hair dryer at home that you love using like i do then i would definitely recommend bringing that even if i don't have a lot of room in my bag i will sacrifice a pair of shoes or a jacket or something if it means that i can bring this like this to me is essential to have with me admittedly on my last trip i didn't use it very much because it was so warm and hot i really was just letting my hair dry naturally the most part most places i go 
I will bring my diffuser with me. Okay, so my next curly hair tip for your holidays is to narrow down your brush selection and just bring one brush. Don't worry about bringing a Denman brush and a finishing brush and a detangling brush, all of this, just choose one. And my recommendation is gonna be the Tangle Teaser. So I have mentioned this a bunch of times on my channel. This is the best all-rounder that I have. This is gonna be great for detangling when I'm in the shower, when I'm doing my curly hair routine. And it's also really gonna help me to style really quickly. I just run this through my hair with some curl cream and I end up with like some really nice defined ringlets, very similar to the Denman brush. Because in my notes, I said just one brush, but I am remembering. I did also have an edge brush with me. So edge brush, and the tangle teaser two brushes <laughs> okay so the next tips then are to do with styling and your hairstyles that you can wear on holiday so my first tip would be to braid up before going on holiday that way you can wear your braids i'm talking about just like dutch braids cornrows kind of thing wear your dutch braids for a few days and then you can unravel them and release some waves that you can wear for another few days this is great for so many different kinds of trips like if you're going on a city break or something like that because it means you really don't have to do very much with your hair whatsoever it means that you can wear the braids to the airport on the plane and you know it looks very put together it's not going to get messed up and by the time you reach your destination you can either wear the braids for like another couple of days or you can just take the braids right back out you have like the most delicious wavy braid out and that is so fantastic for city breaks like you just don't have to do anything to your hair whatsoever and your hair looks amazing but this one doesn't work so well for those beach breaks where you want to be swimming because obviously as soon as you swim you're going to wreck the braid out the next hair styling tips are really for the swimmers among us the mermaids the girls that just love getting into the ocean into the sea okay so one hairstyle that i was loving on my most recent trip was to do the two plaits in the front like this and that meant that when i went swimming and when i went snorkeling i could come out and i didn't have to worry about how my hair looked because the rest of my hair was like still kind of wet and my hair was still braided in the front and if I hadn't have done that then the front of my hair would have gone like really fuzzy and it would have been looking really crazy so I was just really loving having those two plaits there. I also made use of a lot of hair clips so I literally have so many of these flower clips I have like butterfly clips like I have so many and I absolutely love wearing these on holiday I just think they're so so cute because when you're at the beach if you just want to stick all of your hair up in a bun it's really easy just to clip it there like that and I was doing that probably every day and if you don't want it in a bun it's really easy just to clip it back it doesn't disturb your hair too much i just find it so much easier than tying my hair with a hair tie especially if your hair is a little bit tangly there was one day where i was just in the sea and i totally forgot to secure my hair with anything my hair was just free flowing in the ocean and i came out it was so tangly and i would not have been able to do like a half up half down like separate and get with a hair tie and stuff so my quickest solution was to just kind of half up half down with the clip i love these flower clips they're so cute and also there are some hair scarf hairstyles that you can wear. I think I mentioned some in some of the other tips. So yeah, some great hairstyles that you can wear on holiday. Okay, so I think that covers all of my holiday hair care tips. I've just felt so excited to film this video because I feel like it's really gonna help. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It means so much to me. It actually really helps me out so much with the algorithm and everything. So I truly do appreciate it. Yeah, if you liked this video, please thumbs it up. Subscribe and turn on your notifications. If you would like to see some pictures from my trip and some more hair care advice you can follow me on instagram at lana summer and also on tiktok at lana summer x let me know in the comment section if any of these tips were helpful also let me know where you are planning your next trip to so i'm actually going back to greece in august with all of my friends on a big cruise and i'm so so excited have a great week and i'll see you in the next video bye